evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. I'm Papa Boris, playing here some more Overfall. We just had our first really rough fight of the run. Um, everybody got very damaged. Warlock almost died, which would have been very annoying. But luckily, he lived. So let's get him up to 16, get the Hunter up to 16, get her up to 23, and Clovis here is going to eat a real feast. Yeah, after this, we're still at 30 food. Okay. So, what do I go next? I don't need this because I already got my skills up to the max. I could buy some more food from this boat. Um, I don't need frags anymore. You know what? I better play it safe rather than sorry, right? Boat! Fucking get over here! Alright, let's trade. So I want your food. Do I want dust? Um, I don't know. I'll just keep a couple of dust on hand. And then trade the rest of it for money. Okay, can I get more food for the rest of my money? Thank you. So I'm totally broke. You know, this could be a mistake, and maybe I will regret that I didn't save some money for something, but I did, like, max out my weapon upgrades for both of my main characters. So it seems like I don't need money anymore. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Foretold, elf queen, blah, blah, blah. Hoobity boobity boo, yep, okay, great, okie doke, good job, blessing, don't know what that means, beacon has been activated, okay, okay, good times, invasion, yes, blah blah blah, alright, we gotta do a bunch of quests, hoogie dokie. Okay, so all the quests are down to the south, southeast, I'm not gonna stop at islands anymore, I feel like I've got a pretty good amount of stuff, plus I was at most of these anyway. Oh, who am I kidding? Can I resist the allure of islands? I can't possibly. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. So do I brag? Or do I just say the more humble? Let's go humble here. He's pleased. All right, fighter guild ship quest added. Well, I am already, uh, okay. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Don't really care about the fighter ship. Don't care about inns, because I don't have any money anymore. Let's go here. Okay. Uh, -na. I've done this quest before, so there's kids who are uh, playing, wanting you to play hide and go seek. Let's ready. Go to the let's go to the graves. Mm hmm. Check the graves. Check the gravestones. Oh my god, the kids are playing hide and go seek with they're actually dead. You won. Frags, dust, food, pretty sweet. All right, Ceylon. Is the name of a place. It's also what I am doing. Hello there, want to buy some meat? Oh, hey, I can buy food. This is exactly the same exchange rate that we get at the inns, though, so it's not that great. Okay. Um, I mean, sure. Why not? I still don't really think I need the frags, so let's just buy from him and go. Alright, so here we have to do a whole bunch of different elves, or elven quests. A hollow ship? Oh, I guess I should be attacking that at some point. Okay, we get four food, seven frags. Oh, well, that's easiest quest ever. Okay, how about this thing? Mmm, I gotta search for something. Uh, let's just pick the yellow option. Keep it simple, keep it safe. Okay, all reputation plus three. Awesome. Don't know what I did, but I'm sure it was fantastic. Onwards to this place. Did I come alone? Oh, this person turns out to be a traitor. All right, so here we have these hollows who only move and only have melee attacks, but at the same time, we are very close. So I might just jump into the fray. Let's do this shit. All right, so here, let's incapacitate. I think the bull tends to do more damage, and they're, they're both next to each other, so we can cleave them both, which is nice. Get some damage going. Okay, so this guy's about to get rocked. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So I could uh, 
walk through the burning ring of fire here and um, put some. One, two, three, I can really only just burn. I can burn these two people. Is that worth it? Oh, man, I mean, I don't really want the warlock in there. That doesn't seem really worth it. <laughs> I always like, ooh, I should use the burning thing, and it's never, it just never feels like a good idea. Do I want to hit this guy? No, I probably want to hit this guy and Soul Feast. So Soul Feast is a range of five, so I can actually hang back a little bit. Because I can hit this guy from f a range of five. So weakness and vulnerable. Getting rid of buffs doesn't matter. Bone Porn Tormented. You know what? Let's, let's put on the damage. Let's, let's get the damage on this wolf. Just... Tons of damage to him, and then we're gonna soul feast. That guy hit all three of them for three damage apiece. Very solid. All right, I get crippled, which doesn't matter, and confusion, which doesn't matter too much. Although it would actually be nice to not be confused. All right, I can faithfully pull him back. The problem is then him being crippled is a real issue. He actually can't get back to this spot. Then again, he doesn't have any more AOEs. He only needs to move forward one step to attack this wolf. I can also faithfully pull the hunter, but the hunter can heal himself with. Uh, the thing. Yes, the, the the healing retreat. All right, we're gonna take a chance. I mean, I might not hit my cripplingness here, but I did. Okay, so that's fine. And now, Wave of Light only hits one thing. Uh, I think I wanna just keep the damage going on the same target. So let's pop goes the weasel there. Boom. He's confused and has trauma. Very nice. I don't, you know what, I'll just do this. How much all these are missing? Two? So we'll just walk up here to heal up to full. Um, I can blind everybody. That's the one problem, though. You know, it's a little bit of a non-bow here because I'm siding with the elves, and Hunter is not that great at fighting the Hollow. I mean, he's fine, but, like, the blind, which is so good against other races, is not very good for him. I can get rid of one of these buffs. Let's see, evasive, reduces damage a bit, and vigor. Yeah, let's let's get rid of one of these buffs. I feel like that's better than increasing crit chance, especially because these guys are almost dead in any case. So they, they got all bunched up. Okay, is this guy gonna, does he have anything dealing damage? Chill, trauma. Trauma will kill him, very good. So I don't need to worry about him anymore. What am I up to this dude? Okay, so Cleave is on cooldown. This guy has three hit points. He's not gonna die unless I hit him with something. I don't have any more AoE attacks except for Wave of Light. Wave of Light will kill this, but he gets to go before Bernadine, so it's tempting to just, you know, just get this guy to die. Oh wait, Vigor actually would stop um, Bernadine from killing him, or uh, the reduction. Although it would be his turn first anyway. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just come up here and let's... Oh, I don't have my utilities right. Okay, let's just chip chop chap that dude. I took a bunch of damage from stuff, but I should be fine. All right, that was a really weak hit. Okay, I think maybe this is a good place to do... I walk through a burning ring of fire. Put the burn on. Wow, this guy got burned three times. Maybe that's why it has such a big cooldown. Okay, so he did, he's just a pussy. He doesn't hit very hard anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and put weakness on this guy, because he's the big damage dealer. And... This agony is not one of the things. Let's anguish him. For extra damage. Oh, the miss. Okay, that guy died of trauma or whatever. Um, I'm... Ooh, I think if I had done this better, I could have actually hit them both with Wave of Light. So that was a little bit of a shame on me situation. I can't move at all, so there's really no point in doing anything. Um, Numbing Light on the Warrior seems solid. I could have also debuffed this guy, but let's Holy Nova. There's some more heals, and now it's the Hunter's turn. I think he's fine where he is. Smoke arrow is irrelevant, so let's do this. He's at five hit points. He's gonna take three damage. But reduction's actually gonna cancel out some of it. Yeah, we'll just try killing him with deadly shot. That's fine. I don't need to worry about this too much. Okay, so he put confusion on my people. All right, that guy's still confused. So we'll chip chop. Nice. Ah, oh, he canceled all the damage with the reduction. I guess the triple burning didn't stack the way that I was hoping it would. <laughs> okay, well, let's do that. He's confused. Only one skill left. So let's shoot him. Okay, what has she got? Dispel? She can't heal, unfortunately. So, the hunter does get to go finish off the hollow lizard, and then Clovis can finish off the hollow wolf. I don't really know what there is for her to do. 
I guess we'll dispel his stupid buffs. And let's drop the hammer here. Bakabonk. Oh, couldn't quite get my mending retreat. Well, I don't think it's really worth it to um, dick around. I've got enough food. And really, the hunter's the only one who got badly damaged, so we'll just finish this off. Owl trembles with fear. Scare Haru into defecting or kill her. Fascinating. Well, um, although this is the more humane option, I, she really didn't defect the first time, so we're just gonna kill her this time. Um, and then we have plus three. Okay, let's make sure we don't forget to feed. Make sure to feed. That sounds like some kind of horror story. All right, we're gonna go down here. The shampoo shipment. Okay. Try to read the behavior. Sense of longing. Okay, seems seems solid. Okay. Okay. So the best. I guess some of the hollows are traitors. Great, more elf reputation and food, awesome. I don't think I can get any more elf reputation. So that's great, but we do need to do this quest to progress towards the end of the game. So let's go ahead and go over here. Blah, blah, blah. Is this an island? Choke the information. Uh, let's try that. Okay. Eight frags, more elves, very good. Actually, the offer reputation is relevant, so not that great, but still, frags. I could get some more food if I got a merchant ship at some point. All right, we have to kill somebody. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Attack him now, or go to the docks and get that cheese. Okay. So, we'll, I guess, kill him here. Sure. All right, I'm just gonna jump into the fray. Well, hang on. Oh god, it's just so tempting because whatever. But uh, let's see. This guy moves for four. He can get up to my party. So if I uh, heroically leap, it would be nice to incapacitate him. So that way he doesn't get to my back row. Now this shark will get to attack my fighter. This guy has a speed of three, so he's not gonna do jack squat or diddly tots. And this guy takes some serious damage. All right, what am I? Trauma taking damage and crippled. Not too big of a deal. Don't need to burn anybody here. But I do want to make sure I'm in range of skills. So let's come up here. Hopefully I'm not screwing it up this time. Um, I'm gonna uh, go for damage. Although I should wait until they actually get buffs. Weakness and vulnerable, that seems legit. All right, let's, let's make this guy deal less damage. He's gonna come up to my fighter and hit him pretty soon. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll just whack this guy. Okay, the hunter's good, so we'll stay where we are. They have no buffs to remove, so let's just buff ourselves and then volley right here. That will hopefully kill the minotaur. Bingo. Bada dingo. Okay, so the shark comes up and attacks my fighter. So really, I didn't have to pay that much for the fighter coming up here. I'm in pretty solid shape. Uh, do I use Faithful Pull on the Hunter for protection? I mean, really, the Hunter's just never going to get hit. I think I'd rather hit them both with Wave of Light. So we're going to go here. Try to dispel some of this shit that's on the Warrior. Only got two. And then we hit both of these guys with Wave of Light. Miss. Oh, a shame. All right, I can't cleave them because they're not next to each other. I think I'll move here so she can Faithfully Pull him. Trauma and vulnerable. All right, let's uh, get rid of these debuffs with unbreakable and chip chop chopper Got it in the crapper. All right, so let's uh, I'm gonna you know fuck it. Whatever you only live the one time, right? Let's just get up here and okay, so bone porn tormented or removes buffs and agony Let's bone porn torment him. So he's gonna take tons of damage from trying to do anything This guy won't quite die, but the hunter does get to go. So I really want to focus on the lizard. I Don't need to heal so let's just shoot him. And he got confused. Nice. All right, so we're going to go here then. Um, they both get to go at the same time. Hmm. So I think as the hunter, what you want to do here, I guess I'll blind just to reduce their accuracy. I actually do want to finish this guy off. It's tragic he's going to live with one hit point, but I think it makes more sense to kill him than to kill this dude. 
Okay, so he takes a ton of damage. Wow, the guy just really wanted to get whomped. Let's faithfully pull my warrior. Let's numbing light him. And uh, let's Holy Nova to heal him and kill this guy off. All right, so we're at full health. Pretty good mission. Hands over the cheese. Four frags. Hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. Succeeded. More useless reputation. I guess I did too good of a job getting the elf reputation before starting this quest. Um, elves are coming at me. What's going on? Ah, yes. So this is the final quest when you become honored with a, with a, with a faction. All right, so the hollow ship caught up to us. Um, all right, luckily, let's see. These guys probably aren't that bad. We got speed of four, speed of four, speed of three, and speed of three. So really, they can't do anything to me. I just want to make sure I don't get within range of being attacked. Like, here would be stupid because the pig could just come there and attack me. So we'll go here. Seems legit. Don't need to put anything because they've amply demonstrated they have no at-range utilities. They have some AOE utilities, but never anything at range. And his stuff just, it just went away right away. That might be a bug, I don't know. Seems weird. Okay, so what do we do here? Bone poor tormented for maximum damage or weakness and vulnerable? Ah, the age old question. Well, vulnerable will add to the damage because it increases everyone's damage by one. And it also makes him weak, so that seems solid. Okay, since I didn't put agony on him, we'll do this to put agony on him now. Now it's cleric time. Do I want to protect the hunter? don't see much value in that. We're gonna put her where she's in position to faithfully pull this guy. Don't need to dispel, so we'll just put a preemptive protection and regeneration, get that on her in case that matters, and drop the hammer. Boom. This guy might die if executes a little bit on the lucky side. Okay, what's this guy's speed? Stability and defiance. So he's actually very, almost, almost completely immune to debuffs. The only things that can affect him are things that deal damage over time. But his speed is only three, so he's not going to get to my warlock. And I can do a volley right here. So I'm actually fine where I am as the hunter. Uh, I could get rid of one of his buffs. Yeah, that's worth it. I think it's worth it to get rid of one of those buffs. And then we volley there. This guy might die, we'll see. So let's do a quick check. He's got agony, which deals one damage. And that's it, actually. So he's... Oh, he's not gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna... I could jump to finish him off with the jump. But if I'm gonna jump, it seems more logical to jump here. And damage both of these assholes. But do I really want to get them? I mean, they can't even get to me. Yeah, why don't I just uh, let this... Well, hang on. Do I really want to let this pig have his way? Let's see. Weak, vulnerable, agony, confused, and chilled. So he he's, he's uh, gonna take one damage. And he doesn't do very much damage but I know that he can't get rid of his debuffs because he has confusion on so maybe I should just let him have like a turn to just do nothing but oh man jumping in here and cleaving them just does seem really good I'm just not sure if there's that much value to it this wolf has a speed of four he can go over here and attack me it seems he's just coming up to this guy and attacking him is a real waste of time time though Alright, I'm going to do a jump, because I don't think I'm going to need it later, since these guys are all melee. They're always going to come up to me. I'm going to incapacitate my little friend here. And, oh shit. Crap, I totally forgot he has stability. That was stupid. I needed to do Earth Crack to get rid of that. Oops, so he's actually going to be able to attack. That was a nice crit. And I will be able to cleave him to death next turn. If things go well. This guy dies of stuff. I guess there was more of a stack on it than I thought. Okay. So with my Warlock, I could uh, do a bunch of things. I could make him Agonied. Although he has... Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is nice. Getting rid of two of his buffs would be good. So let's see. He's taking reduced damage. Ah, oh, that cancels the Agony. Damn it. All right. Well, let's make him all confused. Okay, I don't need to faithfully pull anyone. I don't think I can hit them both with Wave of Light, although maybe I can. I'm going to try it. It might not work. But if it does work, it'll be worth it. Let's get rid of his reduction with Dispel. And let's see. Oh, it works. Okay, this time it worked even though there's a gap there. So that should kill this guy. Yep. And now the Hunter. This guy has a speed of three. It's going to take him a while to get back in the action. So we're just going to have the Hunter move boldly forward. No reason to do blinds. So we're going to just apply a buff to increase our crit chance. We're going to hit with the hardest hitting. Oh my god, that still doesn't go far enough. 
Gonna play on easy mode with my little smoke, with my poison arrow instead. I could have tried crippling this guy to make him, you know, have a harder time getting up to me, but I feel like he has a hard enough time already. Alright, so Clovis is up. This guy's what confused, he's traumatized, um, he's poisoned, he's actually gonna die. So I sh I'm just gonna put Clovis in the way of my shit. Earth crack to get rid of a buff. So vigor means he can't be he can't be affected by bleed. But that's fine, chop's still the most logical skill to use. Why did he take that much damage? I don't understand what just happened, but all right, let's burning walk up here. I actually don't understand what just happened, but that's fine. Weakness and vulnerable, those can both affect him. So we'll put him on. And let's anguish him. To death. All right, frags and food, great. Man, I'm building up a huge ass stockpile of frags again. All right, uh, let me just, is there something with this ship? Um, okay, I ran into the island, actually. This ship, do I get to do something besides training skills? Ah, uh, yes, we found this trinket. Oh, cool, we got a trinket unlocked, Insignia of Balance. Great, so that'll be a new thing on the next run that we could use, which is nifty. Um, I've already learned everything. Okay, great, so we're gonna leave. And there's a quest here, uh, liberate the sheep, and I think I do need to do that. Is there a typo on this? Yeah, there's a typo. They forgot the space between liberate and the. Okay. Visit the prisoners' pastures and sneak them out, or have the prison's guard post and eliminate them. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what, let's fight them. I am itching for a fight, let's do this. Bribe them with eight frags. Uh, I mean, I probably... Okay, so eight frags is like four food. Is this fight gonna deal at least eight damage to my people? Probably, so I am gonna just do this. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. Yeah. Jumping in here seems like it's not a good idea. So let's take a look at the speeds. Speed of four, he's gonna get up to here. He really can't quite hit my people getting up here. The wolf also has a speed of four, I'm learning, and the lizard, I believe, and the shark have a speed of three. So really, I don't need to walk up. I can just stay where I am. I just basically pass my turn. I get the first drop on him after he charges four. The Warlock is safe, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. If I were to get in range to be able to attack with my skills, the Warlock would also be in range to be attacked by these guys. So this is totally fine. I am not that bothered about my inability to hurt him. I do kind of wish I had a longer ranging skill, but this is fine. So we'll just pass those turns. It does seem like kind of a waste to pass the turns, but keep in mind, I'm gonna get the first attack and that's totally worth it. So they're coming in here, they're in nice AOE range. So I think this makes the most sense to strip them each of one of their buffs. And then volley just to put some put some damage on them. Kaboom, baby. All right, hollow lizard stepping up. Hollow shark stepping up. If I play my cards right, I might actually be able to avoid getting hit by these. These guys don't have haste, so I don't really care about them too much. Okay, so what do I do with her? Uh, I mean, if I could step back a little bit, then I would be um, safe from attack by the lizard. But my warrior is probably going to jump in here, so I'm safe regardless. So she can stay where she is. This is fine. And I think, um, I mean, dispelling some of these buffs would be interesting. Or I could numbing light this guy for some preemptive regeneration. That seems logical because he is going to get in there. And wave of light should hit both of them, so that seems like the best move to use. Wave of light's kind of tricky to use because of that, you know thing where you have to hit a square in front of you and then you don't always know how it's gonna work. Let me incapacitate the wolf and try to kill off the pig with an execution. Hiya. Ninja chop. All right, I could uh, I could fiery walk uh, because I'm stupid or I can get into this corner here where I will be totally safe from these slow, slow imbeciles. Let's get rid of this guy's buffs and let's um, use the one skill that I have that is a range 5, which is Soul Feast, so I'm wasting the heal, but I am hitting both of them, so it's the best skill to use anyway. Yeah, the Warlock, I like him a lot, he definitely has really good utilities, my main problem with him is just that um, his uh, tacticals are a range of 4, which makes it kind of hard for him to stay out of range of the enemy, so my first choice is always the Hunter with those awesome, awesome range 5 and range 6 attacks, and some pretty sick uh, utility spells as well. Like being able to blind casters is amazing. It just hasn't maybe looked that good just because we haven't been fighting so many casters because we were fighting all these hollow. Okay, let's um just work on the wolf who's the most damaged enemy here. 
He is bleeding, and now she does get attacked by the lizard. Ah, oh, that was a nice miss. What do we got? Bone poor and tormented. So he, every time he moves, he takes damage. Every time he uses a skill, he takes damage. He can't attack. He just takes damage. And he's bleeding. Okay, yeah, that's that's rough. That's real, real rough. Um, I think we need to... I'm going to get in here with the cleric, I think. And use a holy nova. So what I'm going to do is get in here. I'm going to dispel a couple of these things. Maybe three if I'm lucky. Nope, just two. So still taking damage for movement. Still taking damage for skills. And I'm still not attacking, but it, he's going to do Unbreakable, and maybe with a little bit of luck, he can actually get rid of the thing that stops him from attacking. So I'm going to stand where I am. Come on, Unbreakable, get it off me. Thank you. All right, I can't cleave because they're all in triangle formation around me, which is unfortunate. But we'll just try to stack up the bleeds on this wolf. Um, just one, and he has two health, so unfortunately it didn't quite work. What I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a step forward with the Warlock, and we're going to give him... Um, Bone poor and tormented just for that extra damage basically so that he dies from that if he's if he moves uses a skill He's going to die All right, uh, let's get to work on the next most hurt enemy, which is that guy Are you gonna move nope see he had to stay exactly where he was um, or else or and not use any skills or else he was gonna die All right, um, I can get rid of buffs. They have no buffs. I can make them blind it reduces their accuracy makes it more likely that they'll miss Good enough for me. Do I hit this thing or this thing? Let's actually kill the guy that's coming up next. It's gonna take a damage. Yeah, let's just kill him. There's no reason to let him have a turn, I don't think. I missed. Balls. Balls. Balls, balls. Okay, did, did he not attack? Oh, he missed. Alright, they're just missing up a storm here. Let's see. I can pull the hunter or the warrior. Seems like the warrior is more likely to take advantage of the... Uh, um, buff, let's use Scream. I don't even know if it's going to matter. It's actually not going to matter in the slightest. We'll wave a light to attack them both at the same time. Miss? Boo. This guy has one hit point now. He is going to die from the bleed. That guy can't be executed. This guy can get killed by the hunter, though. So we're going to go over here. And... That's oh, incapacitate him, I guess, in case I don't kill him. And chip chop chow. All right. Fiery walk. That seems fun. Let's just walk over... Okay, this guy's gonna die anyway, so I wanna walk past that person more. So that he takes extra burns. He got two stacks of burning. Oh, let's get rid of his buffs, just in case they matter. And let the hunter take care of this thing. We'll shoot that guy to death. That guy bleeds out. The hunter still does not need to do any mending retreats. They don't have any buffs. Let's do that, because it's a buff. Oh, Volley's back. I can kill them both. Awesome. I don't have to deal with that stupid enrage crap. Nice. Okay, we ended up with full health and three dust. Okay, not the greatest, but I can turn that dust into frags and into food. All right. Alpha reputation doesn't matter. Food doesn't matter anymore. And okay, we're done with that fight. Hooray. All right, that's 30 minutes just about, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I shall see you again soon. Take care.